Uh, in this lesson, we are going to work on comments, which I have changed to visitors, and I've also removed status uh, for now. All right, so uh, the visitors, um, we're going to start working on listing visitors and uh, deleting visitors. Okay, so let's um, start by uh, generating our controller for our visitors. So generate controller, admin uh, visitors. So we want to have the ability to list visitors and destroy visitors. So admin doesn't create visitors because it's done from the front end. All right, so command P and roots. So we'll do a basic cleanup. So it just changes to resources and visitors. So there are ways of doing this a lot faster, but I, I encourage, uh, encourage you to do this uh, manually over and over again until you sort of get used to roots and just um, it's the best way to learn. All right, so now go into app and go into uh, visitors, right click and destroy, delete our destroy file. All right, and then in our controller, we'll go into our visitors controller and we make sure we have our admin namespace up there. And we can go into our view, command P. Uh, we're going to view, admin, and visitor index, okay? All right, so we'll get rid of this and we can uh, leave this as index, our visitors. Uh, so, um, in our index, we are going to get all the visitors that we have in our database and we are going to order them um, by their ID in descending order. We also want to have uh, pagination um, on there. <clears throat> so we have page like so. <clears throat> and in here we can say, um, so we're going to write quite a lot in this. Uh, we're going to try and start and finish um, Vista, uh, Vista system, all in one go. So we're going to fetch all the vistas and yield as visitor. All right, and we can end it here. And in here, we're going to have all the different fields that we want to show. So the first is our full name, we have email, and we have when it was created, etc. So we can put this all on one line. Start with uh, visitor dot full name get the full name of the visitor, uh, command C, command V, and paste, and then we have uh, email is there, and then here we have uh, when it was created, so created at. Um, for created at, we already have um, a helper, which we wrote previously, so we could uh, reference that, and it is called uh, time ago like that so this will print nicely okay so let's have a look and see um, uh, we don't have our link here yet so let's go into command p we'll go to layout admin enter copy this line and paste it twice and change this to visitors change comment to visitor so have visitors and refresh and now we have visitors link so click on this and that's what we've done so it's not quite clear where things start and end. So what we could do is have a horizontal rule just for visual purposes for now. And that's what we have. So horizontal rule gives us these lines. Okay, so let's add um, our delete. So we could say link to delete. So at some point we'll probably extract all the delete methods and put them in a helper somewhere. So we don't have to keep typing because the only difference in every delete we write really is the path. Everything else is pretty much the same. So we could extract that and put them in helper. All right, so we have uh, our data um, confirm is uh, the same, are you sure? And we terminate. 
Okay, so let's uh, have a look. So that's our delete there. All right, so let's see if we could um, go ahead and code our destroy straight away. So visitor, we find the visitor from the param, sent from the click. And then uh, we just want to go ahead and destroy the visitor. And we redirect after destroy, uh, we could say redirect back to where we were on before we clicked on the link. And then we can just print successfully uh, deleted visitor. Okay, so let's see. I'll click on delete, I'll click on okay, and that vista was successfully deleted. So that works. All right, so we have listed, uh, this is done. So we could say that's done. And deleting a vista uh, is also done. Uh, sure, this is done. So we need to delete all comments, make sure that the comments are deleted also. So a visitor owns um, comments. So let me go to model, um, model visitor. Uh, so we want to, uh, because a visitor owns comments and visitor owns messages, and want to say, and when we delete uh, a visitor, make sure that we delete the comments and we delete the uh, messages. And the same for notifications. All right, so what we do, click here, hold your command key and click uh, on line four, and we could type uh, on both lines at the same time. So we could say dependent uh, destroy, so basically when we delete the vista, delete or destroy the dependents. Um, we could also do the same with our notifications. So we can get rid of the notifications attached to that visitor. All right, so that's it. Um, we can uh, come over here and delete and just make sure there are no error messages. And if you check your database, the associated um, records for comments and notifications should be deleted. And that concludes this lesson. We have, uh, we have done everything that we need to do for that. So we could list a vista, we could delete a visitor and delete um, the associated models. So in the next lesson, we can move on to the messages uh, controller and start working on it. All right, so that's the end of this uh, lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.